Multiverses has been out for over a month now, and yet there are still some things a lot of players don't know about, which are super important and will help you guys out a lot in this game. Some of these are going to help you get kills much earlier than you usually do, and others are simply quality of life stuff that honestly might also help you get kills much earlier. <laughs> so here are top 5 things you need to learn about in Multiverses. Tip number 1. I see way too many players doing it and it hurts them a lot simply by negating an easy kill they already secured and ruining it by hitting them with another move. And it accidentally interrupts your kill move with another move. For example, as Wonder Woman, when your opponent is around 150 damage and you spike them onto the stage with her, they typically will die, except for Superman and Iron Giant because they're much heavier. But a lot of players after landing the spike will also throw out another move, such as her up special shield, which combos and interrupts the knockback from the spike and ultimately won't kill and registers the new knockback from the weaker up special move instead of the earlier spike which would kill. This is just one example with Wonder Woman but I see lots of other characters doing this as well. Uh, learn what kill percents are for your main character's moves and identify in battle what the situation is and stop throwing out other moves for combos at late kill percents which will ultimately hurt you. Playing against this player who also is playing Wonder Woman, they could have killed me with that stage spike at 160 damage but they decided to up special me, which helped me to survive. Tip number two, a surprisingly larger amount of players don't do this, and that's hitting that subscribe button. Only 12% of you guys who watch and love the videos are currently subbed. Join the channel now and ring the notification bells because we're almost at 100K, but no plans of stopping anytime soon. We got all the latest multiverses coverage, so drop a like and get this video to over 2,000 likes to continue the hype. Now really though, with tip number two, you can make your right analog stick your smash stick or C stick, which is easier for landing kills. By default, it's set for your side attack function, which makes your analog stick perform jab attacks, which if you're coming from smash can feel very weird. I honestly thought this tip was a very well known one, but surprisingly, a lot of players I've spoken with in real life or in the comments had no idea that this existed. But also, if you prefer to have your analog still mapped as a jab, yet you want your aerial attacks with the analog sticks to be the stronger hitting moves, which helps with more precision in my opinion, there is an option to switch the aerial versions of this as well for the right stick. And also, you can even make it so that the right stick can do your special attacks as well if you want, like side special, up special, etc. This game has lots of quality of life customizations and even more crazier stuff is coming soon most notably today. Tony on Twitter said that mappable dedicated buttons for specific attacks and even special attacks are on the way. Tip number three, you can complete your milestones and daily challenges against bots. You could also level up your characters against bots too. I see many people complain about having to go online against players in order to complete dailies or to level up your character that you're trying to learn and you end up playing a higher level character that's very frustrating while you're still learning your lower level character. Well, you could actually do both of those against bots and it's very easy. Go into the play now option and notice on the top left, you can press for bot matches. Select 1v1 or 2v2 and voila, you can actually level up your characters while learning how to play as them here. And honestly, if you're trying to grind gold, you can get a lot of gold doing this too. But this is an easy way to level up characters, knock out those dailies and those seasonal milestones. Feel free to do them here, guys. Tip number four is a weird one, but I see lots of players asking me if it's possible. And I want to say, yes, it is. I'm talking about changing your directional inputs from the analog stick to the D-pad buttons instead. I know there's lots of players who just straight up don't like the left stick to move around with in fighting games. For me, with two-dimensional fighters, it's the opposite. Because I prefer analog for multiverses and Smash Bros. platform fighters. I love to use the D-pad buttons, however, in games like Dragon Ball Fighters or Street Fighter. However, in this game, you can actually set it for D-pad as the movement options in the settings. Just map your movement directions to the D-pad and enjoy playing this way now, you sicko. Some people find analog is awkward for them, so by all means, if that is the way that you feel, Try this out, see how it works. Let me know in the comments below. Tip number five still blows my mind how many people still don't utilize this. It was literally my first multiverses video to blow up as well. And rightfully so, it's very important and everyone should be doing this. Make sure that you're mapping and using buttons for your neutral attack and your neutral special. These buttons having dedicated functions are a major key to playing multiverses. By default, you can just tap the regular attack or special button with no input to do a neutral or special attack. However, moving forward and trying to do this can often miss input a forward attack or forward aerial. If you map and use a button for neutral attack, you can safely move forward and backwards while using it, and you can fully utilize your character to their full potential. Now in regards to neutral special, I like to have it on left bumper or L1. 
As a Wonder Woman main, this helps me aim the lasso much better while carrying my forward momentum. And landing kill confirms with it off the edge much easier. Because the default special button can sometimes accidentally register as a side special, which you don't want to have happen when you're trying to space a whip or using any other character's neutral special. And there you have it guys, 5 tips that will immediately level up your multiverses experience. You learned how to get kills easier, how to customize your controls, and how to level up and learn characters faster, and overall, you got a little bit better at the game. If you found these helpful, please comment down below. I would love to hear what you guys think. And also, be sure to leave a like as it helps the video out a ton. If there are any other tips you have, any other questions, please let me know down below so we can get a discussion going. And I can help each of you guys out easily as well. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe if you are new. More multiverses news, guides, and tip videos are on the way and you won't want to miss them. My name is Blitz and thanks for watching.